Welcome to the channel Knowledge Catch, where we break down complex concepts in simple, fun, and interesting ways. Today, we'll explore a groundbreaking innovation in computer networking, the Aloha Protocol. We'll delve into its history, how it works, its advantages and disadvantages, and much more. Stay tuned. The Aloha Protocol was developed in the early 1970s by Norman Abramson and his colleagues at the University of Hawaii. It was a pioneering method designed for wireless data networks, and it forever changed how we communicate. Initially used for a radio communication system called AlohaNet, this protocol laid the groundwork for many modern networking technologies. Let's take a step back in time. The Aloha Protocol was first introduced by Norman Abramson and his team at the University of Hawaii in the early 1970s. At the time, the idea of a wireless network was groundbreaking. The initial implementation, Aloha Net, was created to connect the Hawaiian Islands, enabling communication between them through radio waves. This early network was a significant milestone in the development of wireless communication and set the stage for the future of networking. At its core, Aloha is about sharing a communication channel without a central coordinator. When a user has data to send, they simply transmit it. But what happens if two users transmit simultaneously? Collisions occur. This is a common scenario in wireless communications where multiple users share the same channel. However, Aloha has a built-in mechanism to handle these collisions. Users wait for a random period before attempting to retransmit their data. This randomness helps in reducing the chances of repeated collisions and ensures that eventually, all data gets through. In pure Aloha, users transmit data whenever they have data to send, without any coordination. This lack of synchronization leads to inevitable collisions, especially in networks with high traffic. When a collision occurs, users must wait for a random period before attempting to retransmit their data. The efficiency of pure aloha is relatively low due to these frequent collisions. Its maximum channel utilization is around 18%. This means that only about 18% of the time is used for successful transmissions, while the rest is lost due to collisions and retransmissions. Despite its simplicity, this method highlighted the potential and challenges of wireless communication. To improve upon pure Aloha, the slotted Aloha protocol was introduced. This version divides time into discrete slots, and users can only transmit at the beginning of a time slot. This approach reduces the probability of collisions significantly. By organizing transmissions into time slots, slotted Aloha reduces collisions by half, achieving a maximum channel utilization of about 37%. This method almost doubles the efficiency compared to pure Aloha and represents a significant improvement in managing shared communication channels. Channel utilization in Aloha refers to the efficiency with which the available bandwidth is used. As we mentioned, pure Aloha has a maximum utilization of 18%, while slotted Aloha can achieve up to 37%. These percentages highlight the importance of minimizing collisions to optimize network performance. Efficient channel utilization is crucial for ensuring that data is transmitted reliably and quickly, making it a key consideration in network design. One of the biggest advantages of Aloha is its simplicity. It's easy to implement and doesn't require complex coordination among users. This makes it suitable for decentralized systems and a variety of network types. Its straightforward nature allows it to be adapted to different scenarios, from satellite communication systems to early internet experiments. Additionally, its ability to function without a central coordinator makes it robust in environments where centralized control is impractical or impossible. However, Aloha is not without its drawbacks. The main disadvantage is its low efficiency due to collisions. This results in a significant amount of retransmissions, which reduces overall throughput. In networks with heavy traffic, this inefficiency becomes more pronounced. The randomness in retransmission times can also lead to unpredictable delays, 
which may not be suitable for applications requiring timely data delivery. Despite its inefficiencies, Aloha has been used in various applications. It played a crucial role in the development of satellite communication systems, wireless LANs, and early internet experiments. Its simplicity and adaptability have allowed it to be integrated into many different technologies. For instance, in satellite communications, the Aloha protocol helped manage the shared communication channel between Earth stations and satellites enabling effective data transmission over vast distances. Over the years, several techniques have been developed to improve the efficiency of Aloha. These include adaptive retransmission strategies, where the waiting time before retransmission is adjusted based on network conditions, and dynamic slot allocation, which adjusts the time slots based on the number of users. Hybrid protocols that combine Aloha with other methods, like CarrierSense Multiple Access, CSMA, have also been introduced. These improvements aim to reduce collisions, increase throughput, and make the protocol more efficient in various network environments. CarrierSense Multiple Access, or CSMA, is an improvement over Aloha. In CSMA, a device listens to the channel before transmitting, to ensure it's not already in use. This method significantly reduces the likelihood of collisions. CSMA is widely used in Ethernet networks, demonstrating its effectiveness in reducing network congestion. By listening before transmitting, CSMA minimizes the chances of two devices transmitting simultaneously, thereby enhancing overall network efficiency. The mathematical model of Aloha involves calculating the probability of successful transmission collision probability, and throughput. These models help in understanding the protocol's performance and identifying areas for improvement. For example, the throughput of pure aloha can be calculated using the formula S equals G multiplied by E raised to minus 2G, where S is the throughput and G is the average number of transmission attempts. Similarly, the throughput for slotted aloha is given by S equals G multiplied by E raised to minus G. These equations provide valuable insights into the efficiency of the protocol under different conditions. Implementing Aloha comes with several challenges. Managing collisions, optimizing throughput, and adapting the protocol to different network environments are ongoing areas of research. Finding the right balance between simplicity and efficiency is key to making Aloha practical in modern networks. Additionally, as network demands evolve, there is a constant need to refine and improve the protocol to keep pace with new technologies and applications. Aloha is a foundational protocol in the field of computer networking. Despite its simplicity and age, it has influenced many modern communication protocols and continues to be relevant in both research and practical applications. Its legacy lives on in the many systems that have built upon its pioneering ideas. From its origins at the University of Hawaii to its widespread impact on global communication, the Aloha Protocol remains a testament to the power of innovation in shaping the future of technology. Thank you for joining us on this educational journey into the world of the Aloha Protocol. We hope you found the information both insightful and engaging. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about fascinating tech concepts, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Knowledge Catch. Stay tuned for more exciting and educational tech videos. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.